guys welcome back to another vlog i completely forgot to start this vlog this morning and i also forgot to do a time lapse but i am already i am basically going to my boyfriend's brother's wedding so this whole weekend the whole vlog is going to be dan and kate's wedding we are going today what's the day today saturday the 16th yep so it's saturday today today we're doing a barbecue and some games and stuff like that so we're going to stay at the same hotel we're going to a hotel where the basically the wedding is held and we're going to stay there tonight and then tomorrow it's the wedding day this is my outfit the room is so messy because i've got so much stuff i've literally been out of brighton since like god knows how long i've been here there everywhere i literally just came back from bournemouth and got my nails done yesterday this is my outfit i'm wearing this leopard print long dress and it's from bershka my rings are pandora earring that jack's gonna put in for me are primark i literally got them this morning i've been rushing so much and then my makeup i've just kind of done it like really neutral and yeah, we are ready to party. I don't know where it is. If it doesn't say to. Guys, I had to redo the top of my hair, right? Because the curls kind of fallen out. So I've redone them. These are the earrings I got from Primark. I just thought they're simple. They'll go with everything. Jack's doing up the suitcase. I'll show you his outfit later. He's stressing out a little bit right now. This is Jack's outfit. We're having a barbecue now. Here is a little section where everyone's going to play. There's like different games over there. <laughs> and here is everyone else. This is so cute. Where we're all gonna sit. There's like a little drinks bar over there. And then this is all the food. I completely forgot to vlog earlier. It's like a lot later on. But I was actually just interacting with people because I don't know everyone's like when they like speak to everyone. But look how cute it is. <gasps> Here is all the food. Right at the back is where the barbecue is. Here is a little bar. And here is the table. Hi, Jack. That looks all Look how cute his little paws are.
Morning guys, so we're out for breakfast. I went for um, the vegetarian West Country. Look how good that looks. I also got a pan of chocolate because that's my favourite. What did you get? Just a West Country breakfast. Look how cute this place is guys. This is where we are outside yesterday. Really hoping that the weather's good today. We are back from breakfast now. Well, I am back from breakfast. Jack has gone with all of his brothers and all the boys. All the boys have gone to play something. I don't know what they've gone to do, but they've gone. And all the girls have basically gone to their room to get ready. So I thought I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour because this room is so cute. So you walk in through here. I haven't really filmed much in the hotel to be fair. So you walk in and on your right you've got like the main bed i haven't made it as good as what it was like when we came in so ignore that but we have been staying here for a night this is the bed it's actually so comfy in there look at the wallpaper so cute and then you've got big windows here and you can see out i didn't film anything yesterday but this is where we had the barbecue oh my god you can hear them can you hear that <laughs> That's them playing. I don't know what they're playing, but yeah. Um, this is where we had the barbecue, and the weather was so nice. The weather was like, it was literally boiling hot that I had to come back to my room and cool down. Today, it's not like that. But yeah, you've got massive windows, then you have a little chair, a little table, fan. So happy I got a fan, because I can't sleep without a fan. And then there's a little TV. And yeah, this is what the room looks like. And then, it's not done yet. <laughs> you go over here and there's like a little, um, like a tea making area. And it's like a wardrobe to hang your clothes. And then over here right now, but there were just, there's just a kettle and some tea stuff there. I've put all of my makeup, skincare, hair stuff over here. This is kind of just where we're dumping stuff really. So yeah, that's the wardrobe. And then over here, you have a door. And here is the bathroom. How nice is this? So here you've got a toilet, then you've got a his and her sink, and a really nice mirror. So happy he's got a light on it, because when I film my TikToks, it looks really good. And then a massive bath. And then it looks out into Again, the barbecue place from yesterday. I had a bath this morning. It was so relaxing. I felt so sick. So I was like, I'm just gonna have a bath. <laughs> and you also have a shower. So yeah, that's the room tour. It is now one, what's the time? It's now 1.15. I'm gonna start getting ready. We need to be down by one o'clock. The only problem, I don't know if I want, okay, I'll sit down. I don't know if I want my hair up or down. Like I got it blow dried yesterday, but you can't really tell I got a blow dry. And I'm not, I don't really know how to style this. Not sure if I showed my nails, but I got them done. If it wants to focus. Then. So yeah, this is what they look like. I just went for um, some neutral almond chrome. I never get almond shape nails, but this time I was like, I just want to go for this because it's it just looks so much more like elegant. And I always go for square. So yeah, you know what? This mirror is so perfect because you can take like a full length photo here as well. Let me show you guys. Right, this is mine and Jack's outfit. Well, I don't want to take Jack's out, but um, his is like a full suit. So he's one of the ushers with all of his brothers. Um, so he's wearing the same suit as his brothers. They all have to match. And I am wearing this, which I had so much trouble with because... So this is the dress. It's from Club London. Very simple. It's an off-the-shoulder navy blue really long 
the bottom part sort of it's got like a few different layers to it and from the back um it kind of drapes out I don't know how to explain that I don't know if I'm doing it well but yeah um basically I got a size 4 and I've got dresses from Club London before and size 4 literally fits me perfectly like it fits me perfectly because I have such a small like waist it's so hard to find clothes that fit me but this one it just wasn't fitting right and I went to get it tailored and they were like well that guy in Brighton who told me £130 I'm sorry I'm not paying £130 my dress cost me £100 I'm not paying £130 so literally stitched it myself can you see that I stitched the whole dress myself and I really hope it looks fine because the bottom was so long I literally did this all myself you can see it's coming out a bit <gasps> oops but look I stitched it all myself guys i'm gonna pause the time lapse really quickly just so i'd run you through my makeup obviously i've still got my contouring on um color corrector i mean i'm not finished i've just started but for my base i've used essie lauder primer um foundation i've mixed elf halo glow and maybelline i think yeah maybelline color corrector i've used this which is made by Mitchells. I don't know if this is new or they've had it for ages, but I absolutely love made by Mitchell. And I've never used a curved case and I use it today. And it literally blends into your skin so well. Like I got, I don't know what palette this is. Just look at that. I'll do a few swatches maybe in another video, but it really melts into my skin. It's got like really loads of different shades. So I'm using these two to color correct because I've got really dark under eyes. And then I'm using these just to contour my jawline, my collarbones and things like that. And then for blush, haven't put it on yet. I'm using Rare Beauty and which one was it? I don't know the shade guys. These are the three I like to mix. So it's the Rare Beauty in the shade Encourage. Encourage? <laughs> Encourage. I love that. <gasps> I thought I spilled tea, but I haven't. And then I like to mix that with, again, Made by Mitchell in the shade Peach Sugar. Okay, doesn't want to focus. Um, and then, this is a new one I got. It's a liquid blush. There you go. This is what it looks like. It's a new one I got and it's in the shade Champagne Spray. But when you swatch it, it's almost like, it's almost like a liquid highlighter. It gives you such a nice glow, especially if you're taking photos on a camera or anything like that, which today we will be. I'm gonna use this because it just blends so nicely with these sort of blushes. And I think that's everything. Oh yeah, for contour, I'm using the Curve Case and Refi. This one. Actually, I think I might do Refi and Fenty Stick in the shade Truffle. I always use Fenty Stick for my nose because I feel like that works better for me. Whereas the Refi, I don't know why you can see a little bit orangey tone, undertone to it when I apply on my nose. So might do Curve Case and Refi on collarbones, not collarbones, cheekbones, and then this on my nose. Yesterday I put eyelashes, but I really can't be bothered today. And um, today I'm just gonna, wait, yeah, YSL Wally Mascara. My boyfriend got me this when we were in Paris, and I absolutely love it. It's so nice. I don't have lashes, and it actually makes it look like I have lashes. And then for setting spray, okay, I haven't got it, but setting spray I'm using the Revolution Fix Glow Shimmer setting spray and the um, Laura Mercier um, Quick Fix setting spray. So yeah, just wanted to put this in there if anyone wants to know. I am all ready now. I filmed a get ready with me over on my TikTok. 
if you guys want to have a look at my full outfit but let me just show you while i'm in the room where's my bag i'm literally running a little bit late but i'll be super quick this is my outfit i'm carrying this cup kind of bag i can't believe i've literally never used this jack we need to hurry up i can see people going right i'm carrying this cat geiger bag this is my dress it's very super long this is what i was talking about when i stitched it it does fall off a little bit but yeah i've gone for my hair up today i wasn't really too sure if i should put my hair up or down but i've just gone for up because it's raining and we're gonna be out the whole day so i was just like it's better if i just keep it up this is my makeup super neutral also my jewelry doesn't match because i'm wearing gold ring gold rings and then silver and then my bag is gold i planned for all gold but the necklace i bought i don't really like it when i put it on so this is what i've gone for and then my nails and yeah this my these are my heels also my dress is from club london <laughs> Not to mention the two aspos. <laughs> so it doesn't give me a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'm not worried, no, I'm only joking. There was only one aspo. <laughs> right. First thanks, Penny and Chris. 
Uh, thank you for the love and support you're giving us leading up to today, and your contribution has made this possible. So, thank you to you both. After a few years of teasing me about when I might pop the question, <laughs> thank you for giving me the blessing to marry Kate. And um, thank you for always making me feel welcome on your side of the family. You know, it's been, you know, you guys have looked after me like one of your own. So, uh, the trust. You passed me to look over your daughter means the world, and yeah, thank you. So, can I get a big cheer for Kate? We've got to be done now, <laughs> Like the love they share for Winston, and both have beautiful souls that would do anything for anyone, they do also have some differences. Like the fact Dan loves to work, we know he loves Clarence Cole. <laughs> but what? we know that Zara would occasionally rather be in Zara. <laughs> <laughs> Dan likes his physical activities and golf on a Saturday and a Sunday is normally a ritual. Katie will only go for a walk if there's a glass of wine at the end of it. <laughs> Dan likes to make money so much that recently he went back to college to, to understand it better by doing an accountancy course. <laughs> Katie likes to spend it. <laughs> so, uh, so Dan really is the yin to her very expensive yang. <laughs> when Dan told me he was going to ask Katie to marry him, I couldn't have been happier. But there are a couple of thanks I'd like to make. First of all, thanks to Lawrence for making Dan your right hand man and to Katie for finding a man who will satisfy your spending needs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Lucky for the police, Dan doesn't have an athletic streak in his body. just woken up and gotten ready because we're going down for breakfast and this is our sorry this is our last day here so we're gonna have breakfast with everyone and then get ready and leave I literally look so rough because we were up so late last night and I had a few drinks and my face looks so puffy this is the shirt I'm wearing it's from Zara I just thought it was so comfy I don't want to wear anything too tight so this is what I'm wearing. Guys, we're all packed up now. Ready to leave. Well, we're a bit late. But this room was literally so comfortable. I'm going to really miss it. And look how spacious it is as well. It's literally massive. And I still managed to make a mess. I had a bath in this this morning. Sorry, yesterday morning. It was so nice. I had to shut the blinds though. Yeah, we're leaving now. The wedding literally went so well. It run, everything went so smoothly. I'm so happy for Dad and Kate because they've been wanting to do this for a long time.